at the sky and see the light Baby, open your lungs, it'll be alright Every breath that you take me during the fight Light, it take you high But this is what it's all about right here. Look at this. The adventure's already started, but this is the start of the adventure, if that makes any sense. Should delay because of fall. Okay. Okay. let you know something. All right. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna want you to do. You're gonna have to do a U-turn and go back, back to where camp. you came from. <laughs> Okay, so the next part of our adventure starts now. We think that the ferry's good to go. Um, we're... <laughs> it's always a... We haven't gotten any emails or calls or anything. We were hoping for a nice sunrise and donuts this morning on the ferry, but it does not look like that's gonna be the case. We're still gonna do some coffee and donuts out there, but it doesn't look like great weather. But we just need to get there. So, whatever it is, it is. We might get a little wet. So I'm gonna start making iced coffees. I don't know if we've talked about this trick or not, but whenever we know that we're going to be up early in the morning, Corey will take the espresso machine and make a bunch of shots of espresso. So you have iced espresso ready to go and we can make quick lattes. So we just add ice and milk and we're good to go. This is what we're looking like here. <laughs> oh no, there's some breaks in the clouds. Really? Yeah. Nice. All right. I don't know, it is going to be a good morning. It's pretty cool. A little bit different than the uh, the shutdown version of this. Yeah, no kidding. Where it was a ghost town here just a few days ago. The traffic getting on. The Last year we were supposed to be on a ferry to go up to Cascades to go across the Puget Sound, mm. and then then we ended up um, going to NASCAR it. instead. So. That was gonna be our ferry trip, but now uh, on the other side of the country, we're gonna do it now. So this one is $45 to cross over to Ocracoke, and it's a, it's a one-way fare, and that's up to 65 feet. If you're 40 feet or less, it's only $30. So it's, I feel like that's, I that's relatively pretty. affordable. Yeah. And then the one from Ocracoke to Hatteras as we're going up is actually free. So I was expecting quite a bit more. I will say this one, um, you definitely have to make a reservation for if you are towing anything. The Hatteras one that's free runs almost every half an hour. So that's gonna be a lot easier to catch. And that's an hour long. And this one, the Hatteras one she just mentioned is an hour long ferry. Right. This one is actually two hours and 15 minutes. We will see. It was nice when we first got out and now this is the forecast I was expecting when I first opened up the door. At least when we were breaking down, it was we weren't getting soaked. The adventure's already started. But this is the start of the adventure, if that makes any sense. <laughs> this is where we assumed the adventure was really starting, but... <laughs> this is where I thought we were going to be three days ago. First thing in the morning, yep. on this ferry. Those winds were just so crazy. And when the wind died down, this campground that is right next to the ferry, the Cedar Island RV Resort, was absolutely beautiful. Oh we went gosh. walking along the beach last night, the horses were out, the running. cows are running around. Like, oh man. It's, it feels like it's unreal. It's really, really beautiful. It was not a bad place to get stranded. Oh God, just cut everybody off. <laughs> Excuse he, me. He works here, I saw I his think... truck there earlier. <laughs> He literally just like blew through all the people. We know all the people now. We've been here a while. Yeah, right. We like recognize all the all the trucks. A little bit of a proud moment. We had to be on this ferry, in this ferry line at seven. Mm -hmm. It is 6.56. We've been in this line for like 15 minutes. We broke down, hitched up. Man. Got everything cleaned up, ready to roll. I'm proud of us. I know. Good job, girls. We're up at what, 5.30? Well yeah. Time to go back to bed. Oh, yeah, now they're like, now we have a two hour ferry and we can go back to bed. 
Dad, you can't even go to bed because you're not driving. I'm That's not, true. We could driving. all this nap. Is, this is an interesting concept because this whole rig is moving. But you're not in control. But I'm not in control. Is that why you're nervous? I, that's probably what it is. I think it is. You're not in control. He also doesn't like to fly because oh, he's not actually piloting the plane. <laughs> she's serious. Oh, yeah? Oh, are they walking down? I guess so. Okay. Oh, she's just telling them different lines to go into? Must be. Good morning. Good morning. We have a delay because of fog. Okay. Okay. But we'll let you know something soon. All right. Okay. Okay. You can pull up just a little bit for me. All right. Thank you. There's a delay. Oh, no. It's a fog? There's a delay because of fog. Here's what I'm going to want you to do. You're going to have to do a U-turn and go back, back to the where camp. you came from. It's not canceled. You just never know. It's, it's not, not canceled. canceled. It's just delayed. Well, no, that was a soft cancel. All right, so it's been about an hour and there's some movement. What do you think? I don't know if it's movement to just say... Here's your Yui time. I don't know. The weather is, looks worse than... It did this morning. <laughs> Caution. Fairy. <laughs> that That's new. <laughs> no, we did get that one when we went on the ferry with the truck in Texas. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, progress. It's happening. <laughs> see his front bumper in the rear view camera oh my gosh they said that they canceled it because of fog and it's done nothing but get foggier and they put us on here so yeah, like, they delete it yeah i like the girl that sent us down that slide at <laughs> good luck good luck good guys luck. good luck <laughs> uh, there's nothing else i can say oh my gosh good luck. isn't that what the guy said to you when you ended up leaving the island good luck, boys. that's what he said yes so, so this is the story. Okay, so we said it before, but the whole reason why I really wanted to come to Overcoat was because um, 14 years ago, I was helping a buddy move his yacht from the Exumas in the Bahamas all the way up to Portland, Maine. Um, so we pulled in here halfway up, well, more than halfway up our trip, and uh, it was beautiful weather, but we pulled in and then the, the seas just picked up like crazy, and we could not get back off the island because the waves, the breakers to get back out through the inlet were too big. And uh, after three days, we just had to go. Um, and <laughs> so we had a Coast Guard escort out through the channel to open ocean and they turned around and the last radio broadcast to us was, good luck guys. Good luck guys. <laughs> when I heard that come over the radio, I was like, Oh my gosh. And unfortunately, I wasn't big into video back then. So I went up on the back deck of my buddy's boat and I just snapped pictures of our other friend coming through the inlet. It was <laughs> insanity. Um, so that's really why we're on this trip. Like, that's why we're like gung ho. We're getting over coke. We're sitting here for days waiting for this. I don't know if this is normal or this is the, the weather that happens when I get near over <laughs> I'm guessing there's just crazy weather around here all the time. We're gonna get there. <laughs> we're gonna get there. Oh yeah, we're moving. That's the open ocean. Holy. Okay. I just like, I just freaked out a little bit because you got out and it feels like we're moving and I was like, Dad, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, Dad, we're driving. Don't leave us! Stop! Thunder. If you wish to feed the seagull, please do so only on the rear of the vehicle deck. And if you have not feed the seagull, don't feed the seagull. And keep them with you at all times. For your safety, please watch your footing and use handrails when available. We hope you enjoy your ride. Alright. We will. Only 
we feed the seagulls on the back deck. It's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, because they know there's like, gonna be. I want to feed the seagulls, Dad. <laughs> My kid <laughs> on the front. <laughs> so I open the sunroof to get the view, and I look up. There you are. I should always know. He's gonna be on the top somewhere. I <laughs> got you, Lily. I got you again. That's my life goal. Catch Lily yawning. Layla's looking for Godzilla. She's she's convinced Godzilla's coming this way. Godzilla will protect us. This is cool, though. An adventure. This guy is the guy in the van next to us. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Our RV is like literally blocking this door. He put oh us so close. Look at this. <laughs> that looked graceful. Oh, we got some spots going on here. Wet. Yeah, you are. There we are. We've made some good progress. It looks like we're way above Oprah Yeah, this Coco. is funny. That like that's the the line, but when you zoom in to where we are, look, there's an actual ferry. Is it a ferry or just a boat? Uh, that's a ferry. It's a ferry. We're right where we're, we're supposed right to be. There. But you're right. The sky over here is lightening up like a ton. That's where the weather's coming from too. So. Okay, that's good. Things are looking up. <laughs> multiple sites there that we can fit in, but we're gonna go and see which one we like the best. found our spot. Not a lot going on here. Probably won't be until the weekend. This is Friday, so are we Friday? Coming in. It's Friday, right? It's Friday. Yeah, so I'm guessing these they say they're all reserved. So we'll see. That's a good point. But the blue that. sky is coming. If you do make a reservation and you are not able to show up, make sure you go and cancel it. Because it's oh, a yeah. bummer when you sit and look at all these open the sites. The best sites. And, and then, people don't show up. I think this is all new tar because Google Earth has it. I think it is green, new tar. So I think it's all beautiful new tar. So typical of most places, we have to fit everything on the tar. On the tar, yeah. So we should be able to angle the truck once we unhook. I mean, stick the back end tires over here. And we should have plenty of room. I'll tell you what, after being on the dirt the last few days and having <laughs> breaking down this morning and having everything like wet and sandy and sticky oh, and sand. Daddy. Here's the test. Do we fit? Keeping all four tires on the pavement. Yeah, you're clear, babe. 
clear. You're off. Well done. <laughs> Look at this tire placement. <laughs> We're off. There. We are not touching the grass. <laughs> Off the road. Yeah. Solar is good. Solar is not good if it's cloudy. Yeah, but it looks like it's clearing off really well. I know. Blue the blue sky coming. is coming. I know. I know. I was looking at the Change. forecast and it doesn't it's look good. It's going to pour all day tomorrow. <laughs> when you look at these sites, they look so small. And you're like, there's no way you're putting that trailer and the truck in. Walk it. But here we are. That's right. The girls abandoned us as soon as we got here. I think they went. Up over the dunes. Alright, go. Oh, the sun came out fast. Holy cow. You ready? That solar's going, honey. What'd you guys find? But this is oh. what it's all about right here. I'm look at this. Like, oh my gosh. Look how oh, beautiful. black ones? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love these. What'd you get? Whoa, Layla's got a whole... <laughs> Layla's like, I'm not going to be picky. She's like, she's like, I'm just taking them she's all. Like, she's just like, Layla's just like cleaning up the beach. She's just like Lucy in Long Long Trailer. Well, listen. <laughs> So there are campgrounds in the area that you can stay in. There are two other campgrounds that have full hookups, but this is the type of camping that we like. We talk about it all the time. We want to stick our RV where we want to be, and boondocking is just part of that experience for us, but this is what we want to do. There we are. Oh, come on. I like climbed up here and I was like, well, I'm up here, and then I turned around and I was like, oh. Oh, I'm up here. <laughs> wow. Whoa, 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 Lil, not that way. Are you ready? What? She can do it. Don't on that. All right, no, no, no. Not that way. Uh, okay. Look at this night on Ocracoke. Oh my gosh. Sunset on the beach with a full moon. It's like magic. So there's a full lunar eclipse and you're not going to be able to see it right here. Well, this is what I'll do. I'm going to take a picture and then I'll just have this voice over it so you can actually see what's going on. But hopefully one of these is capturing it. I got time lapse going here on the, one of the regular cameras, one on the GoPro, and then I'm taking stills with my regular camera. This thing's going to get red here pretty soon. Pretty excited. Last one we saw was what? Was in Maine in like 2008 or something, hun? No, it was probably a little later than that. I want to say it was like 2010, maybe, because the girls were old enough to sit out with us and watch it. 2010? Yeah, I think so. Somewhere okay. around there. And again, I apologize for the uh, for the darkness, <laughs> but I don't want to mess up the, the time you lapses. Can't mess up the time lapse. But check this shot out that I got um, back in 2010 from our old house. That one took a lot of work. Okay, so it was nostalgia that brought us here. 
Uh, but we're definitely coming back. This place is awesome. There's something about islands. Uh, Everybody is here on purpose. It's we had just to move. This relaxed yes, it like really, mode. It it's really, really is. great. We had to move sites this morning. Probably doesn't look any different to you, but we had to move the sites this morning because, well, we reserved a spot as we were pulling into a spot, and we were lucky to get the spot we did, but we were just missing one day. No big deal. So we just moved over here. It's actually even better because now better. we have like our own access to the beach. The girls are down there, just like we started this episode. We're chasing them always to the beach, uh, <laughs> which is exactly what we want. That's right. Um, that's why we're out here. We want the kids out exploring, and that's what they're doing. Last night we had an epic. I don't use that word that often, uh, no. but it was an epic lunar eclipse last night. Unbelievable. And it's just so much fun. All of us were just sitting outside and just watching it. See it the Milky Way start coming yes. up by the end of the night when oh, it was like the man. blood moon and you could see shooting stars. Like there's so there's only a few nights in the last 4 years of our travels where we've had these evenings where we are staying up late with the girls for some specific purpose and they're embedded in my memory oh, yeah. for forever like There's certain going bonding up on, moments yeah and, being and in arches and going to delicate arch and like watching the milky way come up through the arch that's one that always oh, comes gosh, to my yeah. mind um but last night was awesome and we sat reminiscing about a night many many years ago when they were very little watching their first eclipse and letting them stay up past their bedtime i and don't like, actually remember when that was i like don't 2008 either 2008 or 10 or so a long time ago <laughs> probably about when i came here to okracook 14 years ago a18 is a great site we fit in here easy, easy. Oh yeah. So, this is the ocean right here. Look at this. These dunes are basically the best. They're so great. Because we've been here four days, yeah. four nights, three nights. Three nights. Every sunset is just amazing. Like the mist kind of rolls in and it's just like this dreamy feeling over the campground. And you're getting color and like clouds and everything on both sides. So you get to the top of the dune and you can see the whole campground and then the bay on the other side and then you can see the ocean on this side. It's just, it's magical. It really, really is. It really magical, is. Magical, which is, you know, why we wanted to stay here as long as possible. I know we sound like a couple of kids, but I guess that's the point, right? That is the point. That is the point. I want the girls to feel the excitement that we felt when we were teenagers, and we still feel like we're teenagers, so it doesn't actually matter. I act like a teenager, <laughs> so it's fitting. We said when we first got here that we were worried about the weather. It's better than it was said it was gonna be, but the weather, even with it being half on, half off, we have not touched our generator. And I'm gonna talk more Maybe. about that I'm glad we kind of held off on doing lithium. We have it, it's just not installed yet. Right. Because I learned something that is different than I thought it was. I thought that you shouldn't even bother with solar panels until you got lithium, and that is not the case. You should start with solar panels. I cannot believe what just 660 watts has done for us with two old lead acid batteries. I know, it's absolutely crazy. We've been able to do everything. Everything and more, everything and more than what we normally did, firing up a generator one, two times a day yeah. for a few hours. And now everything's staying charged. We're able to recharge computers and we're able to turn the TV on and we're able to make a cappuccino or like yeah. whatever we want to do make in the pancakes morning. Pancakes on make, the griddle, make pancakes. toast. Yeah, like I'm I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted at what we were able to do and I didn't think we could do it without solar and lithium. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize. The thing is is solar is the cheapest of everything. I know. We have 660 watts. That's two 330 watt panels that you could buy for, I think they're 200 or $300, so $600, which is less than one lithium battery, and you're up and running. I know. So I'm changing my stance on that. Um, and, and I'm gonna, we'll share more in detail about that, but that's. But it's an, been an initial thought. Yeah. We had not gone into this thinking we were going to do it in stages, but I'm so glad we did because we want to make sure you guys know that you don't have to go all in and you can actually get what you want and not use a generator all the time and still be able to like boondock in incredible places like this. Like this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, you can see our RV right there. Oh my god. So <laughs> this was just a hello we move sites talk, but <laughs> we're gonna go find the girls. Alright. Oh wow, look at the watercolor. The storms are clearing up, so the water's getting a little less silty, so it's it's that aqua color again. Where the heck are the girls? Are they way down there? Is that them? Yeah. Why'd they go way down there? I don't know. Oh no, they're right here. 
Oh. Well, we're good parents. I know. <laughs>